I presume most of us don't like unexpected guests at the front door, especially if we are in the middle of doing something important or urgent for work or school. However, we learn from today's gospel that Jesus wants us to be always ready for him. You too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Of course, we don't know when the Lord will return to earth. So, what shall we do? First, we need to remember that there is no need to be afraid. We are told to sell our possessions, give arms and store treasures in heaven. It means that we need to be free in using material things and always ready to share them with others. At the second coming of Jesus, or at the moment of our death, the only thing we will possess will be our love offered to God and others. That will be our true and lasting treasure. We always need to be ready for acts of love. To be able to love others as God loves us, we have to be open to the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Lord wants us to pray always. In Luke chapter 21 we read, Stay awake, praying at all times. Jesus desires that we live in his presence. He asks us to pray with all our heart and live in a state of grace. When we offer him our every day, whatever we do, think or say, we will be able to maintain constant contact with him. We will stand spiritually ready to reject any form of sin and will be willing to renounce evil at any moment. It is our choice of God's ways. Dear friends, it is important to have courage to be faithful to the Lord in times of difficulties, temptations and trials. It is important to have courage to speak of our love of God when others disregard his existence or make fun of our faith. Our Lord wants us not to be afraid and not let our hearts be anxious. He is with us always. Jesus promised that it has pleased our Father to give us the kingdom if we are faithful to him. In the Gospel according to St. John we read, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If I were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Saint John reminds us in his first letter, Live in Christ then, my children, so that if he appears, we may have full confidence and not turn from him in shame at his coming. So, brothers and sisters, let us persevere in our daily prayers and let us be thankful to Jesus for his gift of salvation. May we stay awake and be ready for his coming, no matter when it will happen.